Good morning, Fallerville High School. I'm Bella. And I'm Casey. And these are your morning announcements. Congratulations to the first group of F FHS students traveling to Nashville, Tennessee this April to compete in the DECA International Conference. Mikey Lux, Cassidy Wormsbacher, and Connor Matlock will be competing against 200 other schools from around the U.S. in the School Business Enterprise event using the data they complied about our school store, the Coliseum. Best of luck to these awesome students. Interested in planning prom? See Mrs. Connor ASAP. You can earn free tickets to prom. Does Buffalo Wild Wings sound good to you? Are you a honey barbecue or a honey teriyaki? Join us this Thursday for the Class of 2017 fundraiser. Help us earn 20% back on your order. See Mrs. Connor for a coupon. Attention all juniors. Please join us this coming Tuesday in the library for a class meeting. And plan on staying after school next Wednesday for our 59-minute fundraiser kickoff, free pizza, and cash prizes. Attention all FHS students. The Theater Tech Club will begin the second semester season on January 27th. If you have been wondering if technical theater is right for you, if you have been interested in joining or would like to rejoin Tech Club, Club, please plan to attend the meetings and training after school in the theater from 2.20 to 3.30 every Wednesday. Plan to enter the theater through the side doors across the hall from the choir room in the band performing arts corridor. We will be welcoming new members through February 10th. <laughs> Tech Club is doing some amazing lighting and sound design to support the fantastic performers this Friday, February 5th at 6 in the Alverson Center for Performing Arts. <laughs> they hope everyone comes out and sees what they can do and also cheer on the best singers here at FHS. Buy your tickets for Fallerville Idol at lunch for $4. Please vote for our Fallerville Art students. You can vote for five students every day. Make sure you also vote for our school. We want to win popular choice or school sp spirit this year. MSUFCUart.com <laughs> The boys' JV basketball team dropped another heartbreaker last night, 71-67 to in Stockbridge in double overtime. Jeffrey Nags led four glads in double figures with 17 points and 15 rebounds. Brady Schultzer also had 16 points, while Caden Collins added 15 and Trevor Miller had 11. Zarian Jordan added 6 points and 8 big rebounds for the Glads. The boys are now 5 and 7, 3-3 three, three, double AC white, and return home <laughs> and return home on Thursday night at 7 versus Portland. The girls varsity hosted Stockbridge Tuesday night and came away victorious. Followed 59, Stockbridge 46. Leading the way was Lexa Elzerman with 21 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 blocks. Also pitching in were Ellie Smith with 12 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals. Megan Douglas, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Allie Updike, 7 points, 4 assists. Jackie Jarvis, 6 points, 6 assists. Sarah Matlock, 3 points. Taylor Patterson, 2 points. The girls traveled to Portland Friday for a key matchup in the CAAC White. Hope to see a large student section. Tonight, the Gladiators traveled to Stockbridge to take on the 10-2 Panthers. The two teams battled a 11-11 tie after one quarter. Stockbridge got hot in the second quarter and the Gladiators went cold. The score in the half was Stockbridge 26 and Fallerville 18. The Gladiators came out with an 8-0 run to start the second half and were down two to start the fourth. The Gladiators were able to hold Stockbridge to just one field goal in the fourth and took care of the ball down the stretch to secure a 50-42 win. Leading the Gladiators was Sam McDowell with 12 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Connor Matlock finished with 11 points and 5 rebounds. Dan Judd pitched in 8 points and 3 steals. Other contributors were Clay Boak with 6 points, Sean Morris with 4 points, Nick Semke with 4 points, and Cam Brigham with 5 points. For Stockbridge, T. Jacobs had 15 points and H. Purr had 10 points. The Gladiators are now 8-4 and four and travel to Portland on Friday. So today we welcome our Athletes of the Week, Taylor and Mackenzie. So Taylor, how long have you been doing gymnastics? I've been in gymnastics since third grade. Okay, and Kenzie, what's your favorite event in gymnastics? My favorite event is bars. So how's your season going so far? We've had a pretty good season. We are qualified for regionals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <So cool. laughs> When's your uh, next meet? Today we have a home meet or not a home meet, <laughs> meet at East Lansing. Come out and support. Yeah, all right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>